do if I don't know how I can't be where you say? Who if I am that I can't bleed? What is it to be American? What are you going to try? You can say everyone who wanted to have to have something to say about where they come from. They don't have to believe in who they think they say they are. They can believe that what they want to have to try and what they want to have to think about and what they want to have to sing. It's not going to matter whether or not somebody wanted to be something really important whether or not they wanted to have to say that they were cool. Do it again. Always be cool. Um, what is being American? It's something in French. We're gonna, we're gonna say that I have a wife and we're gonna call for Alora. Alora um, decided that I needed to go to war with the Mormon Church. So what happens is that I'm easily capable of destroying the ability to practice ever of the Mormon Church all entirely. I'm called Kid America once and for all. But every little boy who's ever had to deal with the fact that Mormons try to abduct you and put you and attack you just for talking to girls that they know about. He's been called Kid America. I keep you private all day. Those kids got taught, um, turn against police once for all, forever, you know, they liked them before, but, you know, and the police were easy. Mormons had police on fucking, it doesn't have to be payroll, it's just cooperation of evil. So, you know, whatever, they had, they had judges on payroll, anytime they think about that. Nobody has to know about who I think I said I was. Whatever day that you can't think of where I think I say I am. Hey. Where they think that I can't be. Well, who they think they say they are. Oh, my mobile. What did you think was going to happen? Come on, she said fuck. Don't have my problem in Kid America. That means my wife is Mrs. America. But, like, you can do your fucking fun pageant to be Miss America for all the things that you think just know that she's more powerful than most people in general. She's got it for herself. Laura is. The karma forces of Laura. Like, you're like, you use a super common girl's name. And you're like, but like, did you think of the magical one? The queen Laura Blade chick? Um, as opposed to Laura Skate? For who they think they say they are, and where you have to know that if you had some winning smile, I'd say you like it so. So my cousin, she's very, very cool. I have um, a picture that was come out that said, um, Alora Honecker is looking for you. He knows who you are. So I remember her from when I was a little baby kid when I thought was falling away. This and they still, you know, there's kids who live in these uh, hell canyons that live on. I mean, would have said, remember for anything? Didn't, I mean, even what, to believe in love, even though you feel it, it's not something you can know about. But they're talking to them, and when I was, of, um, I died, and I got woken back up, they called me around me, it's true, but let's say, it's just about me, so I don't know why you argue with me about shit. Right, like, oh, you now you, I don't know, ascribe to anything you've ever heard about anything. It's like, I know what happened in my life. So to say, to tell them about this magical princess girl, who's in the AC9, this little rest of those, which get on, and the AC7, those, rest of them, or the Oshk, 
First that I ink, first was a snack, I guess. First was a snack, I know, Oski. First was a shan, national, I guess, or oak, the Asian, I know, Oski, cargo egg. Um, I play, I played, not played. I saw the first version of Legend of the Zelda game, I was in the thing, and, um, Certainly didn't have that full heart made them throw spiraling fucking things, but there's also one in close as naked. So I'm wondering how many other earlier versions of that game there were that never talked about Zelda at all whatsoever. Because if you play the first day the Legend of Zelda game for the old school Nintendo, you know that was called it for it. Um the kid that told me to read on right it was called the Nintendo Old School and they say NAS, Nintendo Entertainment System. But like that stupid name. But if you call it Nintendo Old School, you know that it's Nintendo OS. Nintendo Operating System, like the beginning of the dominant of Nintendo, it makes perfect sense to call it Nintendo OS. But like, it's way better. Why? Because the PlayStation is an NES. The wor you combine the words, that's just a symbol of corporate life. Corporate doesn't mean America, corporate is communist. The worst fucking nightmare is you'll have a there's always worse than nightmares. But to say, you know, is that these communists are so vain as not even attached to a witch floor, but just to be communists. They want to have to say who they think they say they are. They want to be evil, raw, and people want to talk out loud. Everybody's airwaves got seized. The fucking West Wing people. The television show West Wing was cold as hell. They kept making shows. Um, what's the fucking... What's that name by West Wing? Oh, fucking Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. The Marvel show. That's fucking West Wing team. There's endless ones. A anything that could be a TV show. So the worst people, like the worst actors, they're monsters. They hold us up horribly. Um, I'd have to say, <coughs> what the, if I wanted to have to know about who to be American too, it's about what you think you said you are. There's a mother. It sounds like being French. I don't know if being French is a different word, so. The most French you like to, but who does not? He knows about many books to so If you're careful, I've said the thing about that, but it's good. Yeah, and French. So you know, fuck that. But why did you say French? She's Queen of France, it's a big deal. But she's like the most powerful sorceress in the world. She was immortal, a mortal, as in immortal, but a mortal, who became an avatar. But that's a big deal. But then. Um, You know, Aang did, but Aang is the last airbender, it's not very, the person who created the air. But that's all the phrase means. But you gotta, um, you know, Nickelodeon fuck with you a little bit, because they said the last airbender, and the language of the rest of it was a fucking, kind of a broken ash, fucking censor cartoon in America. So, like, you don't have, the, if you had the last airbender as a phrase, and then you had the rest of their language, order and syntax intact, you might have something a little more interesting going on where you could understand the spirit of what the last airbender would mean, which means you're the first. It's a very easy reference to know from if you're leaning on something appropriately. I was born with air flow and the airbender is true. Um, <coughs> I, thought I was born in the dark ages. Who's trying to talk to me like they hate me? Quit watching the fucking movie. about who I think a shadow was, who I think I want to have to try and be, and whether or not you wanted to be a part of whoever wanted to be in a good kind of a life. You had to believe that where you wanted to have to say you were, it won't matter whether or not someone had to believe in who you think to say you are. I can say that I'm Kevin America and I'm going to kick people out of my life, 
look at who you think you say you are. And you want to start applying things to me and ask questions. It's like I had a, a world where I had to consider what you had to offer as something. I had to offer, had to attack me with, had to force me into. It didn't have to make sense and it didn't have to matter for you because I already understood with the sound of your voice where you were coming from and what you wanted to have to say. I don't have a, a, a start where I fucking value as value like I have to I learned compassion no 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 but um the Dalai Lama was talking about how people could go without compassion and without things of understanding of love of things like that we don't think about it and we go without it but like the, the message in it looking at it kind of like the way they're looking at it was like right people who are love don't consider compassion there it's all you live for it's all you live for. It's like, what do you? How do we be more compassionate? It sounds scary. How? How? Why would you ask anyone that? But they ask anyone. Like they're trying to show you that they're part of this fucking murder cult or something scary like that. It's a really scary world where, like, you have to believe in who you think you say you are. You have to know that who you think you say you wanted to be. You weren't gonna have to know about where you wanted to come from. I don't know who I think I said I was, and I won't have to know about who I think I say I am later on today, the first time, any time I wanted to have to say who I was. I don't have to believe in who I think I say I am, and I don't have to believe in who I think I say I wanted to be. I don't have to believe in who I think I say I want to be the next time I want to have to say something about it. There's a book uh, called The Sherlock Holmes Study in Scarlet, and you don't have anything in packs for Sherlock, Sh Sherlock Holmes. It looks like it's a very censored book, but like if you go to the store and buy a book, it, where I live, it, nothing is censored and controlled by publishers and screwed up. But they had, um, like, almost half the book is about the struggle against the Mormon church, and it's about a, a, a boy you could call because America and, and is, absolutely. But there's millions of boys who had that fucking likeness depicted for them of what they struggled with, which is being in love with someone. And having people want to abduct you and burn you alive and kill you and hurt you. It was a very scary story for what the people who know nothing of where they come from is. But I don't have to believe in who I think I say I am just to believe that what I have to think about and what I have to say, why well, don't I relent on what I really am? But a lot of, uh, of fixes and, and hexes and where you had to think about what this is, is that people think that hey, they got everybody believing that you're going to die just to be alive. They just going to go away. And so they think that they can make it, it say not worth it. Well, they keep on talking like that's already figured out for them. And that's not figured out. The bad guys haven't got that for all the, the, the superheroes. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that we can get everybody else back on the idea that we know that we live forever. But where do you come from? What do you think you know about? My name is Honecker. Well, who are you? Do you know about who you think you say you want to be? Do you know about who you think you want to talk to? Do you have to know about where you wanted to come from? I don't have to know about whether or not people wanted to have to believe in what they have to say about anything, but I don't have to believe in what people wanted to have to do. I can believe that who people wanted to have to say they are, they don't have to know about themselves. And they don't have to know about themselves just to be around, and they don't have to know about themselves just to think about where they want to be. I can know that who I think I say I am, I don't have to know about whether or not someone wanted to be alive just to be here. And I don't have to know about who they think they say they are, and I don't have to know about who they think they want to be. You know who the American president is? His name is Alex Anderson. It's a scary world where you think that guy is kicking everybody's bottom just for winning the fucking day for the whole planet Earth. I don't have to know about who I think I say I am, and I don't have to know about who you think you say you are. This isn't a fake movie. Um, you know what the word fiction means? Uh, different though real to you. Or ancient though real to you is what it means. Ancient is, um, time and space, yes? We got that? It is in real life. Time and space. Ancient is far away. Is what ancient means. Okay. Ancient though real to you. That's what fiction means. Or why are you reading it? A fake world and it's sick? That's some sick world. But that's, that's, you're looking at the free, you know? But what's the jackalope going to do? If, you, if they carve the pumpkin, you can't hurt the pumpkin. You know, did you show, did you show the fucking illusion of the child spirit? Or did you do some really fucking sick things on that fucking big face of the pumpkin? We don't think the pumpkin's gross. We're looking at the scary ass fucking sicko who did the fucking thing behind it. And you don't have to know about who you think you say you are, where you come from, what you want to have to be. And I don't have to know about who people want to have to say they could be. I can know that who I wanted to have to say I am, I don't have to believe in who you should think you say you are. I know where I come from. Come on, I don't have to reason out that I could be a good person. 
I know that who I think I say I wanted to be is that I know who I think I say I want to say I am. I don't have to know that either, but where do you think you said you are? I want to live a life. I don't have the reason out to them kid America. I'm doing things to keep destroy the Mormon church. I really wanted to hate them. I really wanted to hate them. There's so many evil things that people want to fucking bring about in your fucking entire life. Well, do you, do you think you can wedge war with books? It's crazy. God, there's so many people who go... Bruh, bruh. It's the oldest story there is. That it's laughingly, psychotically effective to be writing books to fucking wage war across the fucking planet. What do conquerors do? Am I a conqueror? Yes. Do conquerors say that they are the only everything? Yes. Do I? Yes. Everything the light touches. I'm King Simba. Um, that's, that's true. If you're talking about Queen Simba, that's Alora, that's, that's Nala, that's my wife. That's, 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 all, that's what that means. But she doesn't use the name, so I'm not sure why people say that. It's weird. But, like, you think that there's a version of things, but, like, I don't have an interest in, like, expressing... I don't, I don't have, like, a... God, the issue... For, for things that I know are stupid, I don't have a limit for how many things I can think of. But, like, there's no greater force in war than the Avatar. Did you know that about that real life? It's important to say about, but that's how this real world works. The Avatars are, are extraordinary fucking complex of war. But that is, um, how you think you say you know your name you are. <coughs> it won't have to be that everybody who has to know about who they say they are is going to be a big deal. But who you think you say you want to know about? I don't have to know about who you think you say you come from. I know about where you want to be. I know about what you think you say you are. I don't have to know about what you think you say you do. And I don't have to know about what you wanted to try and say you could be. I can know that what you want to have to say that you really are is that I don't have to believe in where you think you come from. Because it doesn't matter. If it's you like me and you don't like me, I don't debate. Is that how obvious that is? I really don't debate. But you have to get really scared of where you are. You the good people who are wanting to help me. Because I'm a kid who's trapped in America. Violently trapped in America. And I'm very scared of where um, I could have to go. I, what do you mean? It doesn't make sense. So where they, that people think they say they know they are, I don't have a world where I don't have to believe in exactly who I say I am. It doesn't make sense to keep talking where you can't think of what you wanted to do because someone put you in a position where you have to justify your own existence. You're in danger. More or less, most people, like, are good. No. Stop saying most people. We are only wanting to count the good ones. It's no no end of it. If you lived in some fucked up Twilight Zone episode where you had to kill... There were giant moths, and they just kept coming after you, and you had a giant fucking, like, weapons, and you were just fighting giant moths, you were going to kill them forever. As long as giant moths attacked you, you were going to kill them. You weren't going to start thinking, everybody turn on the moths and lose your consciousness, unless you were never good human person, which means you wouldn't have killed the first moth. You would never stop killing moths. You would never stop killing moths. You would never stop killing moths. It's simply how that goes. So don't say to me that you could have been tricked by a, a what. I don't think I see the same thing you see. Do you know what happens in a snake bite? If you're gonna die, if you're dying? If you're looking at the, the colors and the walls don't mean the same thing to you. They don't mean something that you can believe and breathe and know about. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Everything's fucking wearing and hurting. But the world doesn't care about you, that there's so much pain of what it is. But what people have to think they say they know they are is that no situation of where you wanted to have to be could mean that every fucking person who's around you, they look way different. They look way different. So, like, how... If you knew it was all the way different, why are you looking for similarities in someone? Maybe you start looking around better and figure all the way different and kind of gawk out on someone, going, what in the world? And they look way different. Not like someone else. Not like someone else. Because you didn't have to be like someone else to be human. You can't have been. It had to be all the way different to be a different person and ever, any time, every time. So every time that you wanted to have to believe that where you wanted to have to come from, you don't have to come from anywhere. I don't know why you have to have the phrase. 
You can't debate your own existence. So when you start debating, that's what you start trying to do. And it sucks to be in a part of a situation where you want to have to say what they thought and ask them how. When you think of where you are, what you think you know, what you think you'd have to be, and why you'd try and be, so I can't tell you what you do and where you think your name, but I can tell you what to do if what you say was me, but I don't know who, who you think you say you are, and I can't know you what you try to be, but if all that you can be was happiness with me, then I can't say you're wrong, who we had to know about and where we had to be. I can't know the story if you said her. I won't know the answers, and if you can't say it to me, then I won't say what I want. Who we had to know and where we are. I won't know the answer if you try and say to me who you think you want it still to be. But if what you say and where you had to know I couldn't be, I won't say so. So you say and try to tell me where you think you want to be, and I can't tell you what you are if what you say was good. But you don't know me, and you don't know where I come from if you say what you do was good enough. <clears throat> How you think you want to be and where you think you are? I can't tell the story if you hex me this far. What you think your name and where you think I'd be? I can't tell the end of all the stories that we tried to say we are If all the parts of what we had was good enough for me to say that I can't be here still So what you think you be and what you think that I can name I can't tell twice which way we are and I can't tell more about you who you think your name and where you think you are That Magami can't say to Kid America can't be the best there ever was Wait, who was even that? What we had to say and what we think we knew we are Is what we think that we can't be Who we said we knew Is it 1990? Why'd you try to say that I was me? If it's in the Lion King, then what you think you have to know is what you think you said you'd be. Oh, you guys picked the wrong one up to fuck on the fucking Queen Simba. If you wanted to start, man, there was like fucking 40 chicks in my fucking bedroom. Just to have a picture of me. God, come on. It doesn't mean anything, Dyke. What did you do? It meant something else. It meant that you had no intelligence to upset me. You can attack me, and then it's a death match. What? I don't live in a world where I ask for attacks, but I know that you're motivated by evil and I'm not. And you don't understand what not being motivated by evil is. You don't seem to understand your existence. The word. It's getting kind of dark out here. Where I think I say I am and what you had to be. I won't know the answer still to be. What you had to try and where we thought we had to know. I can't say it's true. So say what you would say to me and my family. Say what you can't know. <coughs> where? Why? How? Who could you be? I can't tell the answer. What are you to me?
I can't think of where I was if what I have known won't be still the same as what I've caused. Who I think I said I am and where I want to be is what I don't know who I'd be. I can know the answer, just what you would be. Who you think that you can say I am? Listen, everyone, who you think you say you are, I won't know about. And if I don't know the answer, then no one will. I will. So who you think you say you are is you can't call me a nobody. That doesn't make any sense. We said no one. The entire time you wanted to be slighted somewhere else, I had to believe in who you think you say you are. I had to believe in who you think you say you are the entire time. And you thought that was true and I was lying. What did you think of that? I won't care. Can you come after me where I am and take everything? That remains to be seen. For what? Exactly. For nothing. So who they think they say they are and what they have now? I won't have to know the answer if you wanted to tell me that you were right in front of me. I won't have to know if it's true and I won't have to know the answer again. I can show that who you think you say you are is going to be important, but that won't really matter, will it? It will say that what I had to do wasn't going to be the same thing as you. Well, that was true because I'm not you. So this conversation isn't getting very far, is it? I won't actually ask you. You'll have to believe yourself. Good. I'm a wizard. Kill my enemies. Spirit gun. Where anyone had to be wasn't going to be the same thing. So where I think I say I am to you, you won't have to know the answer to me. And if you don't know the answer to me, you won't know the answer to all the rest of you anyway. And I don't have to know about who you think you say you are. And the trying force of most things was that I won't know the answer and you don't know the answer too. I can be you. I won't have to be you. So who you think you say you are, I won't have to know about. And I won't have to know about whether or not you can try. I can know who you think you say you are. It won't matter to me. But I know the answer and who you think you say you wanted to be isn't going to be the same thing. I don't have to know about who you think you say you wanted to be. Who we think we say we all are? You can tell the message there. It won't be that I was here and it won't be that you made a big a difference in my life. Why would you do that? There's a lot of kids that have free Hanukkah t shirts on their bodies. Free Hanukkah, because I'm tripping. I really love that. And that, I, that helps my body a lot because people need to find out about me. I really want to go home. So, where are you? Are you safe? Check, can you see where you are? Okay, maybe maybe make sure that if you know that this is on... I don't know, this is going to be honokamakalot.com slash Megami Tensei 2, the number 2. That's always where the movie will be, even when I get... A whole brand new website, as long as I get home and everybody is rich and everybody has anything good. I'll make sure all my redirects go, because I've written a down thing in the place, just trying to get some fun home. Huh? Where anyone had to believe who they came from, was their own parents. Not everybody has parents. But, you started out weird, saying everyone's the same, and we knew that you were not. <coughs> what do you think you said you made me are? I can't say for who I think I said I wanted to be, but I wasn't going to get that I was going to be really strong. <coughs> Where do people want to come from? That's a scary world. What are you talking about? I don't know why people want to think about where they want to say they know they say their name they are. I can think that what you think you say you know your name you are isn't going to be the same thing as what you want to think you say you do know. So, all right.
they might get the idea that everybody who wanted to talk to me is going to be the same way as to what they wanted to have to say. Well, I don't have to know about who you think you say you wanted to be. Well, I can't figure out who you wanted to have to say you could be. I don't know whether or not you're good with people. I don't know whether or not you wanted to talk to anyone. But I'm not looking for someone who's qualified to be aware. Right, like, I don't know. I don't know something like that, and I'm looking at you, and I don't. What are you saying to me? I don't understand what you think you're talking about. Jobs aren't a good thing in America. They're not a good thing anyway. Lose a job? <coughs> you just said, like, finish a task? I don't think I know who you said you think you know you are. <coughs> I can't remember the last time I existed. I really don't like the way she people speak to us out, but I'm a mortal, and I don't grow, there's a, plenty of immortals in the world, like, um, Darth Vader, Liam Neeson's one of them, yeah, um, you're right, he's, uh, um, becomes an adult in his life, uh, and he can get young, and, uh, I'll go kill if he wants, I don't turn adult, I don't look like that, I don't do that, it's not a, something that's possible for me, it is never, he does, where I'm adult, I speak in universal for me, I don't go exclusive, you know, it's not normal. It's not childish. It's like speaking to the universe. Get out. <coughs> but like, adults aren't supposed to be evil by design. It's just that some adults are better than others. A lot of the idea that you thought that there was like different kinds of adults. Yeah. They were different from you. They were the ones who were bad. You guys were bad bad guys? You don't like us? Sad? I don't know who you think you say you know you are. I don't have to know about who you think you say you do. Elijah was a Trump and a ball, and I don't turn on a ball. What is a baptism supposed to be? <coughs> That's a young looking person. You know who you said you are? That is sad, if you ask the really man. Yeah, but man or not. Yeah, but he said it. See how I don't say it like you know? He's gonna get you. <coughs> I don't know what you think you say you do. If my fucking doctor rescued me from where I was, yeah, the, the super scary about God's bad. He's really tripped about that. But like if you said that, I see a person that he's super fucking young, like he's a trip out, like you can fucking fuck up on it. Like a real man? Right, like fucking, oh man, you guys don't know anything about the person. Where are you for favorite color? It's supposed to mean a lot, but you should start talking about people like you care about them. You want to have sex. I don't know where you come from. That's really fucking weird. No. But that was obvious. <coughs> but that's not true of any cat ever that you could become that ball. Yeah. Justin Bieber looks trippy. Um, you know, he can't become that ball. He can't fuck off. Those days. He cannot. He's my son. You are crazy people. You have a, he's obviously wearing contacts. He's startling. Look at his eyes. Shocking eyes. He looks in more than two seconds. It's really fucking trippy. But, um, <coughs> what is his name? Do you speak where you know you said you do? You have been to a closed world to say that. I'm not sure how I can fucking match you. <coughs> One of them is Tristan, but he's got a lot of names. Tristan Adam. It's not pick up a last name. No, that's not good. That can't be Tristan. It's Blake Foster, which is a fucking famous one. Where's Jody Blake Foster and Blake Foster? I guess I'm protecting him up for you. <coughs> River Phoenix is an actor, but they said that very that the uh, people thought that he's been shot and killed, but you were near him, you know? If you had to wonder about that, would the Rivers okay? Or where's River? He just wasn't in the movies anymore. River finished the shit they said the shot and killed in like 25. These are fucking not supposed to be the numbers that they saw, but he's supposed to be older and it's got the shit out of that room. <coughs> anyway, that's sad. Um, then there's the doctor called Bill Skarsgård, 
He was always in makeup. If you see him now, he's always in makeup. The young kid who's in the show called Hemlock Grove, that was really fucking evil looking. But like the show's trippy. He's good. No, it's him, but like in makeup. Looks the exact fucking same. No, the exact same. How do you find pictures of Paul Scarsfield without makeup? River Phoenix pictures. Look. Oh my god, he's gorgeous. Look at this. I have them every day. Yes, that's an immortal with normal. That's really powerful. That's a big deal that that guy just stopped tripping. That's how I talk on the internet. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do you understand that? You're an immortal. Yeah, you think I know? <coughs> but I don't have any friends on the internet. I don't come across anybody. There's nobody around. Crowd shows on the moment and then that. It's like a China internet where they don't like you go any better. Any bear? They just gonna give you and eat you? Well, do you guys start saying nasty shit to people? But, you know how loud that you don't know the fucking world for fucking horror or a single moment can unleash on you for the fucking nasty fucking shit they say, like they could fucking relate out children to you? It's very fucking disgusting. The horrible fucking monsters. And they can't fucking figure out where they think they come from. What? Look at who you think you said you are. It doesn't make any sense for what you've done. I can't believe that people wanted to be a human and they were evil. They're monsters. It doesn't matter what you think you said. But one of the... Know that you said you that. Have humanity? If someone does not have humanity, it will never have humanity. It does not. It does not with them. You can do that. Did you think that, like, Valmont in Jackie Chan Adventures cooking? Did you think he looked like he was without humanity? Yeah, the... No, it looks trippy. That's a, that's a person who's a fucking Native American witch. And was reformed. But, like, reformed. Which is good. But, like, you can communicate that and him keep fighting. And that was good. He didn't have no kung fu, so you can keep fighting on him. But he's evil, though. Like, you know? That's funny. Evil. <coughs> Horrible, horrible fucking monster. And you have to wonder about what was happening. Well, she had he's a, a startling superhero. So where does that come from? <clears throat> I don't know where people think they say their name they have, and where they think they want to come from, and what they want to think they could say they try to do. I wonder who they think they say they are, but I don't have to know about who they think they wanted to be. I know that whether or not people wanted to be good, they could be evil or bad and try and fuck it up. You guys have to know that I can't speak in fucking fake philosophy. And I can't believe that the world in the situation you're in thinks that you could fucking sound out that there aren't people who want to believe they can screw up my life by saying a bunch of stupid shit like they could understand the fucking sentence of any of this. They don't understand that you are in love with me. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that who they think they say they are. It doesn't have to matter who they think they wanted to be. They don't understand you could be in love with any one person. They don't have it. They don't have humanity. I can't think that what you did wasn't going to make sense for a lot of people, but I don't know what you think you say. What you did is disgusting. What those pedophiles who attack people who don't understand what they think they say they are. You know how the, the, the sickening fucking world of, of reality is that you, you obviously keep a clock for how many fucking billions of people you meet. There's some psychos who say some nasty fucking shit when, you know, your kid set them off and someone else didn't. What is it? Well, what is a slug? You know that has an ancient invention? When, like, you, someone doing like needle speak to you or something and you're like fucking Jesus and you need to have like a fucking metal thing that just slug yeah like of course it is proportions slug there I don't know what you think you go <coughs> go into it's a doctor's weapon I don't know where you get to that people don't know who you think you say you want to be I don't know if people wanted to have to be really, really strong or really, really wise. But I don't know about the answers for where they wanted to have to be. I can't believe in who they think they say they are. I don't know who anyone has to be <coughs> just to survive and where they want to have to say they could be. I can know that who they think they say they know they are. I won't have to know the answer to it. And I don't have to know the answer to who you think you say you know you want to be. And I can't know for who you think you say you want to know. But who you think you say you are to me is where you think I was. Couldn't be so bad as what was trusted here before. Where you think I say I wouldn't be.
What was I supposed to be in where you think you know? I can't know you trusted who I was. That was surely sticking where you think that I can know. I can't know the answer if you're real. Who that I could try and be, I don't know what you've done. Where you think you say you mean you know. But you think that what you've done this boy was gone enough to be in what you think that I can't know. But I just was never older and you think you knew my name. And what she said was surely you took it away. That was a fucking big deal that the fucking bad guys thought that they could fucking whatever child it is, they hated the sacred and they could get it away from you now though. Um that's not what being an adult is. You guys fuck up a lot, but that's from saying and evil shit, my parents come after you to kick your ass for what you said you said. You know, said you did, you kidding, you were spared. Why do I have to keep horrifying you? Because I don't understand what you've done. It's making me sick every hour of the day. The fucking shit that people fucking are doing right now. And I can't fucking find a way to stop people in the fucking Mormon church for fucking existing. And I don't know what the fuck you think you've done. <clears throat> God, that's disgusting. God, that's disgusting. Where the fuck do you come from that I was just fucking, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So know that what happens is it's for violence, they said it, and you're fucking right there. So really far away, really far away does marijuana take you, drugs, marijuana. Really far away from the fucking shit of horrible horror or something you're feeling over there. It's because I went from the drama queen to really fucking my friend. Yeah, you don't know. But look, say who you think you say you are. I don't like drama queens and they're not fucking my friends. That's, that's actually the crazy movie as far as I know. I don't know what you think you say you are. So. You can say drama queen about the woman, and it's not as it's it can mean something in a in a context in a statement. But you can be being an abusive person, or you can be saying something trippy on a drama queen. So what what that is is true. It can mean something in a sentence. So like if you're ever saying it of males, you know that you're just wanting to demean all women. It's not something that makes sense. A term that could only be positive if it applied to women. Don't use it on males. Are you stupid? I don't have to know who you think you say you are. Could that be trusted to have a weapon? I'm a lethal weapon. <coughs> so I don't know what you just have. Should I be allowed that one? I don't know. How about good guys rule? Can you get there? No form of governance allowed. And then what happens is the good guys form of monarchies. Without that, you can say that you are the communist instead. Anarchy is communism, or anarchy is monarchy. <coughs> Come on, it's about love. Monarchy is about love. You know it's not communism. We're not living on communes. Those are about human abduction. Yeah. It's a fantasy about it. It's a cult of human abduction. Communist. Communism. Is. Yes. <coughs> Socialism is the same thing. It's just something that else to talk about when we have the word. We have sound. They don't have sound. We have sound, they don't have sound. They'll switch to the next evil to see. 
if you tell someone you're not monogamous and they're like, you're polygamous, could be other evil. Yeah, it's the same situation, it's the same deadly sin. So what the fuck are you talking about? I'm not arguing lore with you, I'm an avatar, first of all. <coughs> and that's not what right and wrong is. Seems real or it's not. It's committee. Because you thought that you had to stay with, with the world and then you couldn't have sex with other people. You might have been fucking fucked up as a boy and you don't know how to have sex with people or something. Probably you were fucking because you get like right away, right before you're an animal and you do it. This is the end of the universe. We do that like that. <coughs> you didn't run away with someone. There's strings in Amber. This is chaos. Well, at least you fucked her. Yeah, no, fucking come on. Where did, where did everybody come from? It's okay if it was goodbye for someone. Yeah, well, no, she can have a choice of, like, she's not sure why you're telling her the things you don't understand about what people say around you. But she's just dumbing stuff out because she, she was going to keep on the second form of the place I got there. His name is Kevin Sobo. Doesn't matter. Come on! What do you do mean? She's not monogamous because she's having sex with women. So like female to female, Wi-Fi turned on for being sexy. Sexy women simply have that. But they're involved with women sexually. That's their lives. As far as making out for sex between two women? No, come on, it's on. Yeah, it's different to dance. But that's fucked up, you know? To think that they could be heartless to live in a normal world. That leaves no romance for a lot of your human friends. Boys don't have that fucking... That's the intensity of fucking... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People think that where they come from it makes sense for who they think they say they are. Who comes from uh, a better place than they want to have to say they are? <coughs> the triad wants to tell you that the, the location you live in that would be poverty in hell is too powerful. It's powerful. That's power. That you built something that's poverty. Okay, but it's raw evil talking to you. So where do you come from? You're used to the sounds of raw evil and you're okay with that? What the fuck happened to you? You can't do anything about it? Well, fuck. You know, I wish I had an American in your place instead. No one fucking English who was an American didn't understand the fucking phrase. I know it's not well enough to be like, duh. Duh? Like an American. But what did you fucking say? Killing commies? Good. Killing all these different kinds of badass gangsters? They're not badass. What's a, what's a real oxymoron? Uh, it's something that's unsound. <clears throat> they can be opposites. Um, the day night? I don't know why you said day night. Okay, what is that? With the context to say day night. And it could be funny, it could be really funny. What is that? It's not an oxymoron at all. So, what is it? Something that's unsound. A badass sociopath? Bad means that um, you've been through hell, so either you are hell, hell itself. Satan, the monster, a scorpion, a praying mantis, or, um, you, right, or you're <coughs> a good person, you're good and you're bad. You've been tortured? Yes. <coughs> what does anyone 
What is anyone going to say about what you think was going to happen? For a human world you had to believe that you could be alive in. I can't say that what people want to do makes sense. But you can't have to say that what people have done before made sense, what people want to be like. I have to know about what you think you were doing. I don't know about what you thought you were going to say. How founded was this, and what before the mine own glory, before my name, before in one other cause in my reality, before that this one life in who we are to say. It wasn't the camera trick, I walked over there. <coughs> Listen, you can't believe who you think you said you are. I'm still stranded in America, and it sucks a lot. Every day that I was good of who they said I knew. So I can't be the same as what they said they are before. <clears throat> where I wanted to come from was saying that where I had to be was so far away from what people wanted to believe about my own life and just doing something that's called a documentary. But I can't really be accused of being a fucked up kid. You know, that's not an accusation of crime. I don't know kids who got fucked up. Yeah, what? That's evil as fuck that you said that. But like, what happened is the United Strength of America with so much fucking media attention on politics became really fucking weak and you weren't making it difficult for like monsters to fucking breathe around you. Or fucking knowing right and wrong and then fucking having your life figured out that you should have the people who are evil. So they got so used to fucking doing the evil shit that they did that they thought that the world just fucking was ready for them to start saying monstrous things. They hear the sound of my voice, they hear my name, they hear my story, and they fucking start saying fucking super monster evil shit right the fucking way. something you can understand the code over there I don't know it's a, a real thing to be doing now I don't have to be the way you are who you is I can't, I'm not allowed to talk about magic like I do believe it's real because I understand science that's not any version part of America but I don't get wishy-washy to talk about spirit and magic I know what death is better than almost anyone alive so what did you think was heaven? I can't believe in who you think you say you are. What did you think for what is <coughs> anyone in the spirit world? And this is a spirit world, the spirit's here. There's a person. If you use my name on my website, homochromakillup.com slash haunted photographs, I've got the poltergeist proofs for the whole world. I'm a startling fucking psychic detective in normal life. But, like, because I, it's normal to me to 
see the shipment that's actually there. There's all kinds of fucking subtly never before seen the likes of. Shocking, shocking photographs that scare the fucking shit out of people because it's horror. It's a scary, scary thing. Fucking it appears on my guitar. So like, what did you do? It. It's the pagan god clown. Yes, the child called it was just a monster. It was a small thing. From the child. You guys struggle with what child means in America? No one good does. I'd rather talk to the people who are good humans. I want to be able to be around my friends and my loved ones, my family. My friends and my loved ones with us. But I don't know what to do about anything. I can't get out of here. I'm trapped. <coughs> I don't like the place that I'm in. And I can't get anywhere. There's no life out here. There's no one good. You build a shitty neighborhood. But like you got that, it got isolated because of what you believed the internet could do. And it's not doing what you said. It was all allowed to be hijacked and locked up. And you know, children being building cool things built the internet. And then you let corporations hijack you. Like they didn't get that it was important before until you had amazing art and cool websites built. What the fuck is Facebook? Jesus Christ, where's your site, you moron? Your website that you have for a business? No, normal website. What's wrong with you? It looked like it was designed for identity theft and stalkers. <coughs> I love the people I know intentionally take ugly or pictures of themselves that didn't turn out well, the pictures that you wouldn't keep, so you don't have bad photos of yourself. And those are the only things that go up on Facebook. Why does that happen? Because they don't use it for communication because Facebook messages are hijacked. I tried to write the message to my sister who doesn't see me. I don't know what's going on with her. She's fighting bad guys. But um, I'm stranded, stranded, stranded. And I don't know how to get my family to get me out of here. It doesn't seem to be safe anywhere. But I was trying to get her to get the little chihuahua dog out of here because fucking... The, my foster mother was going to have the left of that color eye out because she got bit in the eye by another dog. And I was writing messages on Facebook with this version, and I hit enter on the paragraph I wrote, and the fucking message showed up in my eyes. Three times that fucking happened. I couldn't get a single fucking thing through. Everything was fucking broken. I had to write from it. I got um, accused of fucking breaking a probation that someone fucking bribed guys to fucking get me fucked up on anyway. Simple terms of probation, I will never have to get in trouble again. That's a true life. The witness protection may be in the and we'll have an identity in America. They put it out of fucking Ford's page. I don't know what they did. They got someone on Facebook to do it. Like, right, I never did anything, so like they said that I was doing something that was illegal. So like what? Can I make this fake one? And on Photoshop on my computer? Yeah, I can make a fake one if I want. I can make a fake profile building Facebook tools. I can do anything. I could do that in any number of ways. I don't know why the cop wrote a fucking piece of paper. But no, no, no situation of that should have been like I shut up at my house. That's a guy going, I don't know those guys at Facebook. You know those guys at Facebook? Deal with your own fucking social life, well, man. You can't deal with this. Right, like fucking, you don't have to have a fucking Facebook to function as a fucking human. You're scared? Fucking give over it. You don't have to be fucking... That, that doesn't look like a threatening kid. How about that fucking one? I'm not trying to hurt anybody. So what happened? <clears throat> it's a big deal that everybody says that when I was looking around, I looked scared. It's because a lot of things happened that tried to fuck my life up. And I don't know what people are going to do. I don't know who anybody was. I don't know who anybody is going to say they are. The people I'm around don't value me as a person. It sucks. Because I, I fucking really want to have a lot of fun in my life. to make more movies, I'm calling Magami Tensei, Magami Tensei 2, to America.
because I'm trying to get home. <clears throat> I have to get famished, really fucking famished. And those people like fucking CNN and shit, those are fucking psycho fucking. I'm not gonna not say Nazis, they're Nazis. But like, why the fuck didn't I have my voice on NPR? Because they're Nazis. But like, all the way evil. I don't know where everybody was. Is there a U.S. president right now, a real one? Yes, his name is Alex Anderson. Where the hell did you guys get this? That you could fucking be in a situation where you can't get on the nightly news. You can't put anything on the nightly news. There's no nightly news. There's nothing for you. Why does a corporation own your fucking everyone's network? Network television. You have a free network, so you're supposed to pay for cable? Why do you have to pay for cable to start? Where are the free channels? that people just do art because they have they own their home and they have money to make art what do you have money for probably making Star Wars like what the fuck why would you sell Star Wars it doesn't make any sense <clears throat> I can think of a situation I don't want to be better off in my life in but I don't know what anybody was going to do I don't know why anybody wanted to say that they were strong what did you say you were going to do that you said you were strong for what did you say why would they say that those weak? I don't know. Maybe you guys know the best particular context to say that you're the best. I don't know, everybody. What is heaven? I said I'm a really good kid, but I was born an airbender, which not, I know that you're, I was really strong then. Yeah, that. <coughs> I know that I was strong, but I'm fucking super saiyan. But who did you think you said you were? Are they going to fight everybody? I'll fight anybody. Did you know how many people in, like, Los Angeles? <coughs> I learned the phrase is for. It's because people who are autistic and raw evil, retarded, like Asperger's, no, social, antisocial personality disorder, it's called violent schizophrenia. The old, the old textbook definitions for schizophrenia talk about good and evil and spirit and soul. Before fucking Freud burned fucking everything with fucking publishing it, that were all schizophrenic themselves. <coughs> Sociopaths. They're autistic, they're retarded. Like, super fucking non sentient life. They're devils. They think that, like, there's a gimmick to fucking a human. So they'll dress, they'll think they dressed up as your friends and fooled you because you're a socialist and your friend's a, a slot. They filled now, now they're him. Like, a, yeah. And there's kids who are getting jumped all the fucking time. Like, these guys just came out of nowhere for fucking jumping for no reason to get their fucking asses for. And they didn't know that those guys thought that they looked like your friends. That that's what they thought was going on. That that's but they did. They did though. It was super crazy. So if you're if you don't say, I'll fight anybody, they'll think they can do that. So like even just normal self defense bullshit, you'll you won't defend your life. Well the the guys who are attacking you are masochists anyway. They're monsters. So where did you get that where you thought you were was gonna be intelligent? Um, I don't know what you guys have done. Because where you think you say you name you are I can't know about who you think you say you wanted to be. I know that um, religion means faithless, faithlessness, religious. Yeah, it means you're not doing anything that's good for human spirit and life. You're doing a fucking 16 sh stick at the Shinto shrine because that's obsession of idolatry and psychosis. Well, the, uh, they pretended they were Shinto shrines and they were, you know, worship shrines, idolatry, obsession shrines, shocker, st stalker shrines. At least, I was in strong the name, I'm stubborn and sick. What happened? You can't deal with that situation. You think you can hurt someone from far away like that? The, the look in that person's eyes and the photograph might kill you one day. Why would you think that they can do that? <coughs> you know? I don't know what you guys have thought that I was going to be like in my own life. I'm lethal, but that's because people have hurt me really bad, and I'm strong. So, like, I know that where I come from is, no, there's nowhere I come from to form who I am. I have a syndrome, is that, that's true, but a syndrome means that it doesn't make any sense for you to not be the way you are. You know I can induce uh, Tourette syndrome? Don't you fucking start with me. Your fucking gate that flips open a little bit to leave, release a chemical in the fucking brain. Why don't you fucking pay attention? Did you know that Leonardo DiCaprio is kinesthetic? Full disregard of fucking body contact required for his fucking human experience to exist in any fucking form of pleasure. 
he was raised really fucking well, where fucking he comes up to fuck with you, and people will fucking grab his head and fucking push them and shit. Like, that's his fucking normal fucking play love. Okay, so in the movie, What's Eating Gilbert Grape? He was showing you what a kin kinesthetic kid looks like in a super fake hell scenario. Like, there's a bunch of shit that we, we fucking watched that movie. Where, like, I'm like, right, none of this shit makes any sense. But, like, that's to try and tell you what uh, the most severe looking uh, fucking retarded you could have for a kinesthetic kid. Because you can't develop any of these fucking things where you want to fucking cage him into something that fucking he can't ever fucking have human contact and play and touch and talk to people. It's a big deal. So he's kinesthetic. So what's going on like that? People are individual animals and there will be conditions where they are experiencing the least pain, obviously, and the most pleasure in their lives. So what happens with that? You said, um, so it's Tourette's syndrome. There's tics of nervousness and things like that. Their communication things, you're stressing the kid out, you're trying to tell him what to do, but there's so many fucking formations of telling children what to do. I mean, what the fuck did you think you were doing in school? Do you know the, the desk that's built with a fucking bar on one side, that's a fucking locked desk and chair? Do you know how psychotic that is? It's raw evil. Okay, what did that guy do that you think that, that's, that there's no one in a classroom ever? Okay, so, so come and so, stand at the side of the desk where he gets out. Okay, and he's there at the desk. And, what happened that you did something sick, uh, or you said something about your mom, or something fucked up? They did this in Monster. Well, you mean to kill that guy? What did everything in your fucking body is paralyzed? You could have killed a defend your life. Don't you argue with me? You're arguing over nothing. Of course, there's a normal situation where that desk is meant to trap your physical body and paralyze you. That you're completely vulnerable on that desk. It's a horrible thing to do. It's a horrible, horrible thing to have anywhere. And I can't stand this shit like that. <clears throat> but when I know about anything in physics I'm looking at, well, there's a gun, like, you know that I can build them because the shape works. Computer chip is like, it's shaped like that. That's why it works in physics. You know, the, the, if you're building out the different materials, they won't shape like that. We're getting into fucking, what, isometric shapes? We're talking about, yes, isometric, but about microscopic. It's the shape. It's normal. What's a sword? A sword is a shape that can't be faked. But you don't know what's going on. You're with 10,000 folds in the fucking steel and you think that you fucking sharpen a katana? They, they'll fucking make fucking memories for sharpening katana. That's sick how big and sick. You don't ever sharpen the sword. You don't. It will always cut. It will open the envelope. How come? You have to sharpen the knife to open the envelope because you rip the paper otherwise. The sword won't need that. You can feel the sword. You might have felt the edge of the sword and you're still trained in your head to fucking avoid the comb. Feel it like it's already cut you and see what you actually felt. It'll, it'll feel super sharp fucking right away. But you're not sword fighting, so what do you think of what is a sword? All swords are live. There's fucking fake swords that are like fucking coin shit or something. I can look at the fucking thing and know I can fucking bend it or break it or snap it. Because it looks like that. Because it is. Because it is. That it looks like that it is. The only reason the gun works is because it's shaped like that. I can tell a fake gun because I can tell that you fucking built something that's going to explode because it's the wrong material. I can paint people's skin colors. Did you know that? Fingerprints are unique. Are you sure it's not like the fucking skin on your dick or something that's, that's fucking stays the same all your life? Fingerprints! Neither of those make... <coughs> <coughs> Fingerprints are nothing. They're grip. Dexterity. You have grip on your hands. You need to be able to touch things. If things fly off your hands, come on. It's just grip. The grip on your hands stays the same your whole life? No, it's socialism and evil, evil, evil fucking cop worlds. What's unique to a person? Completely unique and signature? Skin color. Is it Christian to understand? Yes. You have to be highly artistic and intelligent to know what you're looking at. And then people who are doing too many things to your fucking eyes and mind and brain, what are you going to do? Can I can I tell you I'm someone else in the sec next second? I don't know why you think that doesn't make any sense. I don't know why you think I don't know how to hide conversation. I don't know why anybody thinks that I can't believe where I want to be. It doesn't make any sense. I'm important. I don't have to believe that. Where did you come from? Would you think it was my brother? Why would you start? It doesn't make any sense to start that way. I have an imperial accent. Do you know where that comes from? It means I can speak anywhere I want to. Relation or an But I don't know what you're saying. The fucking, um, the fucking, 
words that you're used to, that I don't, you know, the patterns and the syntax, the way I'm speaking, there's not one you're used to, because it's, it's not English, swamp. I'm only using the word sets that someone taught me um, because I'm trying to get the rest of it. I need you to understand it as much as possible right away. But like, I can't express myself truly in this in this language with these word sets. It doesn't make any sense. I don't speak red like that. That sucks a lot, obviously. But like, I need to get home. So of course I can use that English word set. The, um, I don't know how to read and write the way I speak because I didn't learn to speak reading and writing. So like, I had to learn what English words are is uh, to type fast like that. It looks like a very basic computer code to me. The book, the the Superman novel I wrote, isn't broken. It's a, it's a real book. It's perfectly fucking well done. But like it's, you know, Superman speaking American on that, and it's locked in a certain way. But it's all the way there. But like the, a lot of the when you when you when you start seeing more in language and you use things phonetically, for like the the pattern of it. What the hell were you thinking? Is that capital H and capital E? What the? And you got uh, a hyphen and then like a, and then a comma right after? What the hell were you thinking? Why could you not spell for sound? That's crazy. You think that you know that about yourself? Where did you think you said you come from? That you don't know about where you come from at all? I don't know who you think you say you are, and I don't know where I come from in a situation that makes sense for someone. I can't believe that what you think you said you did made sense for someone else, but like, why did you want to believe that I'm not going to smoke again, and I don't know how long I've been talking for? I can guess what a fuck face says. <coughs> not really. No, they're not real. But I, 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 me, I have no idea how to use tongue like you guys use it. I don't know how to use it at all. It's hard. It, like, it, it can be a ton of disease. But I think very, 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 very fast. Fast is real, but you have to get somewhere else to get forward faster. Time means a lot of harmonics. Sure, like, if, can you think it's symphony? Sure, yeah. But, like, what if you had played a, a flute track, or played a flute and recorded it? And then you put another two minute long flute track over that one. And, I mean, if they were harmonized, great, right, but, like, that's four minutes of music in two. You understand that part? Dadis, <coughs> Dadis, understanding of music, if they're harmonized, they're in symphony, like, what do you think is going on? But then that, and then, then you knew that, that the way the, the flute hit, it didn't make sense to think, not a fucking bisexual flute, you fucking queer, a fucking normal woodland. Jesus God. What is wrong with you people? It's not a real instrument, the fucking bisexual flutes, it's the metal ones, the fucking the switches and that shit. You can't do that, That's, those aren't real animals. Animals aren't monogamous, but that's because monogamy is one of the seven other sins. It's, yeah, you are said differently, it's bigamy. It's the same thing, it's the fucking attempted ownership. Management of what? <coughs> you can't do that. That's wrong. That's evil. But like, you can't have committed evil just because you were getting super fucking pressured and instead of having sex with just one person for a little while and then you're having sex with someone else. <laughs> What do you do if you're eating a pear and you thought, that's, that's rather queer? He died right away. <coughs> queer is another that they seen. It's poisoning. But like, you know, gang someone is? You can't tell the words that we have because it's all only words that are like fucking danger. Gang someone is trying to get someone like hooked on them. It's queer. It's sick. It's disgusting. It's poisonous. Sloth is another that they seen. That's a poison ingestion for your own body. They mutilate themselves and fucking their masochists for their sadists, their masochists, their sadists, their masochists. Sadists are masochists, are sadists, are masochists. <coughs> They're called sociopaths. Dada. Um, <coughs> so, they said of uh, dungeoning, like Joel's opening, dungeoning is just one of the deadly sins. Envy, idolatry is another deadly sin. 
Um, and then, um, fucking, I don't know. I'm not coming to my fingers and thinking about that on my life. What do you get to? Gluttony and greed are the same one. It's fucking taking something away. But gone. But that's like a lot of the fucking murder fiction they have. Where they have said that they're like, no, it's gone. Yeah, it's, it's perverse. Yes, murder is perverse. But the, <coughs> what did you say was Hampa Moon? We said in phrases, murder is not taboo because there is taboo. Because people don't understand what murder means. Of course, murder is taboo. But you have to know what murder is. You said killing someone is murder. Well, no, murder is murder. You kill a murderer or is die? Die. Die. You kill someone who committed a taboo. That's how that works. But like, what did you think was happening? What is the word, um... So we know certain taboos? Yeah? Okay. Rape is trying to rip someone's soul apart. Rape is carnage, it's true. The act is carnage, of course. It's an abuse act. It's not sexual. Okay, so what did you do for a sociopath who wanted to abduct people? They're saying they were fucking looking forward to a dungeon. And they thought that they can say statutory taboo, because it was a taboo. That you knew everyone said it was a crime. That we can say, well now, a normal formation of loving sex is taboo. It's, it's statutory taboo. They don't understand morality to start anything. But like, duh, that's fucked up. They don't have a fucking understanding. But like, raw fucking evil government system. <clears throat> but you enslaved children. Where did you get that you haven't said that they're less than you are and they don't have rights in the money? I don't know how old I am. But I told you I don't know how to use the clock. I know that it's spinning, but like a metronome or something. Do I think a metronome is constant? No. God, it's torture though. It's not for music, you stupid. That was gonna help your food, it's gonna kill you. <coughs> Where does anybody come from? You can't believe that what you think is happening to me doesn't have to make sense to people. Because what happens? I said the computer chip works that way because it's sound structure. It's sound, but the shape of it is what it is. Yes, like a computer chip, a world is sound. The word adultery is unsound. You said that, uh, right, like surgery is surgery. Like a wall of different scalpels. Yeah, um, rookery is, um, array. Greenery is array. Okay? An adult array. And you said <coughs> that, right, all of those things that are fucking in that concept, there's nothing that's anything. It's an illegal world? Yes, it's unsound. It's stupid. You can say you're an adulteress without meaning anything wrong about yourself because you know people are fucked up. And you don't know what they thought they said. Maybe you want them to come at you like a fucking black belt on your blog you might do. They want to fucking challenge you because they think you said you something that you will, especially people can attack you for help. Some of the real, real words, fucking a lot of them that you guys use. What did you do? You said faggot means a bundle of sticks. If you're already camping and someone bundled a stick, that's queer. It's it's faggotry. You fucking invite spiders to the fucking planet. You, you don't bundle kindling. Sticks. No word and sentence and formation and literal concept is formed without real life. That's what that meant. 
It was that, 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 <clears throat> yeah, I put them in a nice little bundle. You were gonna kill someone. Like, uh, who? You can't exist like that. Boys, I mean, boys, that's gay? No, it's not gay. Gay is gay. So, did, you, did you, like, fucking socialist everybody out and say this is, this is a, a gimmick of them? The gimmick of them? The gimmick of them? The gimmick of them? Sovereign and forever is what marriage is. And you're supposed to be immortal. No one can marry you if you can't get married. It's simply not there. I can see the magic on my poor as fucking shit. I don't give a shit that you're fake married. But like, what is, what was my problem with this idea of gay marriage? First of all, fucking, it has nothing to do with anything. But like, you said that you needed to get the approval of it. Well, that was sick, because no one needs to give you approval to actually get married. And you were saying to the whole world that children can't get married. And that was anti-Christian, anti-spirit, anti-soul. Any, every good soul, every human, a friend of Bell, Beast and Bell, were the literate kids of the world. That we could assume that of them, some superhero so profound that we call the Christian God. Like Robin Hood? Yes, specifically Robin Hood. Okay. Yes. He likes gemstones, he was hoping you enjoyed them. called a video game. You're on the PlayStation, it's called a video stream game. <coughs> so this for, the little baby has a fucking gem. So it's an apple. That's what it's for, it's for looking at it and enjoying it. Okay. Kind of magic on the test with that. I don't know. Maybe enchant my cigarette. I don't know. I'm, I'm starving and fucked up. My, my, the food I'm eating has started to lose its, its taste. It, it also feels like there's less time to it, like it's not um, charged, which makes sense. But what I said, yeah, but it's not there. It's not giving me symphony. It's vocal. What? It's not doing anything. It's tasteless. It's not giving me symphony. It's not making me think. The food is fucking stoked and it's not. The, the fucking only cause of death for fucking starvation is trigonosis. It's that eating species, eating shit, they're ingesting it to fucking, where someone's like jammed fucking shit down your fucking mouth. That's a sicko fucking torture. What happened? You weren't, you were trying to fight horrific fucking poison and pill. That's not it's bringing that shit into your muscles. Yeah, that though. What's racism? And what's sexism? <coughs> they're not real. Someone who says that they're racist has never loved another human ever. Never, ever loved another human, and they're trying to talk to you about you. They think that they have word settings to get away with talking about monstrous fucking heads. What's lesbianism? The hatred of the children. It's true. What did you do? I don't fucking want you talking to my friends. Are you stupid? Why would I do that? You told her that she's a type you like? You like the buddies? You don't like her friends. You think that her friends aren't sexy. The sexy ones? Um, people get hit in the face just for not having a crush on Ariel. It doesn't matter who you are. Ariel will ruin my universal Beauty is universal. It's that. Why would you think that you can be like that? That you said that that, that person is gorgeous for being gorgeous. You don't love a person. Okay. Were you doing it in monogamy? Because monogamy wasn't working out for you. See how you were? And then you don't have to worry about that because it was supposed to be that you met the new person that you were in love with. And you're telling me that there's some, maybe forced monogamy? No, not everybody who said that they're a lesbian. That's true. 
because they said for different reasons what they say out loud. Duh. Every day, the last Shabbat I was going to be strong. I found out that everybody who said that they were evil found out that when I recorded my podcast, you thought that I hadn't done something that was longer than the movie. <coughs> Duh. But I've done a lot of just keep talking. I did like I recorded a couple of them that were over an hour. So what this happened? That's all talking at once. So like I did different scenes for the movie that were about 30 minutes, usually 35, 30 minutes. But like so, what happened that I was gonna do something different is that I don't know who you think you said you are. I can't know about who you think you said you want to be. What is why is it so much leather? People ask in real life. Because I'm closer to the camera, but you have to get scared of non-sentient life. So what does happen? Because what happened in normal life? I don't have anything to build anything like a movie with. I have a camcorder, and I have my intelligence, and I can talk to a camera, and I'm trying to get home. That's what all of these movies are going to be for. And they a different day. You'll know that I was in a different movie because I was doing a different movie. But I want to get home, and my name is Homer Kilmakilla. So when I have to come from a different kind of place, I said that I was going to be, so that I was saying that I was good, and I said that I was going to be strong, and I said that I was going to be strong again, and I didn't have to know about who everybody was. I know that who they said they think they said they are. I don't know about my own answers, and I don't believe in who th they think they wanted to be. I don't have to know about who they think they say they are, but I don't have to know about what I was going to do. <coughs> I don't have to know about what this had done. I know about who I think I said I was, and I don't have to know about who you think you say you want to be. I can know that who I think I said I am. I am. I'm in. <coughs> who is it that everybody is going to be one of them know about? I just thought I was always going to go about that, but I know about who I think I said I am. It doesn't make any sense for people to know about who they think they said they are. What did you know about who you said you are? I don't know about you. What did you think you were going to say? I know that who I think I said I am, and I know about who I think I said I want to be. So I know about who I think I said I was, because I don't have to know about who I think I said I am. I know that who I think I said I wanted to be, I don't know about, and I don't have to know about the answer. And I don't have to know about who you think you said you are. And I don't have to know about who you think you said you want to be. I know that who you think you said you want to be, I don't know about, and I don't know about what you've done. I'm the real kid in America because I know about who I said I was, and I'm one of the sort of women's shirts by talking out loud. But how is happening of the every day? I don't know about who you think you said you wanted to be. I know that who I think I said I am is that they're all evil, and I know that about them. <coughs> what happened is a cousin tracked down the people, the person who arranged for my kidnapping and torture. And this is going to be on your fucking imagination for what this can happen to a person. And she found out that they were, that that person was being sh uh, sheltered by the Mormon church. So she set the entire, whole entire organization apart. Because that's where that person had their wealth and resources in their life. So I don't know about who you think you said is going on, and what happened, for what is going on for everything that they said. If it is, it doesn't make any sense for anybody to think that I was telling criminals how to do what they do. They're going to get caught. I mean, you can hear my movie. You're only going to get fucked up on it, but I'm a real wizard, and I know about who I think I said I know I am, but I don't have to know about who you think you say you are. I know about who you said you would be. I know that who you said you would be, that you could be different. <coughs> I know that who I said I am, I'm not going to be strong. No, I don't have to say that you are. I don't know about you. I don't know why you think that you said you wanted to be weak. What well, if you said? The context for anything you're talking about is when. But what is you said that you wanted to know? I don't know about you. I don't, I don't know what you like. I don't know what you think you said you did. I know that who you think you said you are, and I don't have to know about what you've done. It's that I'm a real Lion King, and nobody has to know about what has happened to me. I don't have to know about who you think you said this happened. They just want to know about me, though. They want to know about my life, and they want to be a mother me. And that's where I want to be, a mom. Fucking Christian humanity, for fuck's sake. I want to get out of these fucking Harlem projects too. The fucking place that there's hell. That there's, there's no life around me at all. And I don't know why you think that's not fair.
I'm not know about what you're saying there. I'm not going to know about who you think you said you are. I can't know about who I am. I know that who I think I said I was, I don't have to know about who I said I am. I'm not going to have to know about who I think I said I know I am. I don't know about who you think you say you are, and I don't know about who you think you say you want to be. It doesn't matter who you think you say you want to talk about, and it doesn't matter who you think you say you want to be. What do you have to know about this? You have to be a good human soul, a spirit. And what you have to know about this is where you have to think about what you think you said you did. Is it doesn't matter who you think you said you did, and it doesn't matter who you think you say you want to be. It doesn't have to matter what you think you say you are, and it doesn't have to matter why you wanted to be the way you are. It's just stressing yourself out that you wanted to have to know about who you think you say you are. I think you're using a word stress that you heard someone else use, and you're just using it to try to hurt people instead. I don't have to know about who you think you say you want to be, and I don't have to know about who you think you say you are. I know that who I think I say I am, I know who I wanted to be. And I'm a good person, and I don't know who you think you say you are. But who did you say this to in the first place? Did you believe it? Did you say that who you think you say you are, I won't know the answer to? Well, that doesn't make any sense. But who you think you say you know? I don't know about who you think you say you are, and I won't know about what you've done. I can know that who you think you say you want to be won't be the same thing as anybody else. Well, sure enough, that was an obvious situation for everybody else, but what did you think was obvious to me? I don't have to know about who you think you say you are, and I don't have to know about what you've done. I know that who you think you say you know you are, I don't have to believe that you were wrong. I don't have to believe in what you think you say you know about. And I don't know about who you think you say you are. Why do you think the ways that you have? But who you think you know about, and why you try to be the way you think you say you are, I don't believe in. And I don't believe in who you think you say you know. I don't have to know about who you think you say you wanted to be, why you wanted to be a part of some situation where you didn't want to believe the humanity in anyone. Well, I don't know who you think you say you are, and I won't know who you think you say you wanted to be. I know that what you think you said you've done, I don't know what you think you are. I think that what you are is wrong. But what do you think you say you know you are? I won't know the answer for and I won't know what you've done. I can believe that who you think you say you know about, you won't believe in who I think I say I am, and I know who I believe I am. So where you think you say you are is that whether or not a person is good, we trust them. You have to believe that the sentence doesn't mean it's a reality for you. So where you think that who you think you say you are isn't going to matter to who you think you believe in. I can know that the answer is, I don't believe in who I think I say I am. I know that who I am is going to be important because I matter to who I am. I don't believe in what you've done, and I don't believe in what you think you say you do. I believe in who you think you say you are, and you can't sound out the messages that I have. You have to have your own voice. Who you think you say you are, it won't matter to who you think you say your name. You can sound out who you think you say you are to who you ever tried to. And I don't have to know about who you think you say you want to be, and I won't have to know who you think you say you are. I know that my own voice and my own body, they're not deaf to time, they're lost. And I don't know about who you think you say you are, and I won't have to know about what's going to me. I know that who I think I say I am, I'm strong. And I don't have to believe in what you've done. I know that what you actually have done is what I see you've done. And I don't have to be told what that is. And I know about what you think you say you are. I can't believe in who you think you say you've done, and I can't believe in what you think you've tried. I know that I don't like the way that Los Angeles is right now, and I know that I can save them. Who you think you say you are, and who you think you say you want to be, I don't believe in the energy that I can't change. <clears throat> I don't have to know about what people want to have to say, but I have to know that what people want to have to do about their own lives. I couldn't get really too troubled to have a tripod. I don't have one, so it's just boxes and things. I don't know how to build cool things for kids in America. Duh. <coughs> That's not what the name meant, but the children do, but then they go to mine. 
Can do a lot of those magic. Build a lot of cool things for that. Cool things for that one are good things because I don't have any interest in building each other. Growing up or at all. They're specifically an like, exclusive thing. And they're not like cool. You know? I don't know what they are. But like I don't know what you're doing to like a certain thing. the novelty of existence. <coughs> Ian McFarland's really cool to children. I mean, that guy's never been a fucking child in my existence. He's an orangutan. His story was a... Yeah, man. He's just... He drinks from the fountain of youth. But he doesn't... Um, his eyes don't light up with the fucking child light. He just loves children. So, like, he's a cool adult, though. Very, very amazing person. Who's always an adult. How can Tim Allen's always doing man things even if he's a little boy? It's a man? Yes, it's a man. He's not very young. Those are unusual. But like that, there's just a lot of animals. There's another kind of a ring of hands. They're called the Toronto children. <coughs> I don't know about who anyone was or anyone was they have to be a part of their own lives with but like I don't have to know about who anybody wanted to be around. Like um Jonathan Taylor Thomas is uh is just a cat like I am. So he doesn't throw in anything even like that was a fucking idiot or he's a fucking infant like I am. So that's how that works. But like I'm you know, we do that cool safety cool things because what the fuck do you mean? He's another kind of child? Yeah, it's a little wolf. Some beavers a wolf, but these are some of a of an infant of a cat. So like he does tribute things, but like he doesn't get to look his fucking tribute like my brother is a wolf. He just keeps doing like infantile things, but like he can do things like team looks to his face, which is kind of harmonics. You understand? Older or younger doesn't make sense. He's a fucking baby cat. So that's what I need to do that. Yeah, they guys come trust me out of my life. I hate the way that you speak. That you Think about them like they could be wrong anyway. That's obviously evil. <coughs> so where does anybody have to come from? What does anybody have to come from? You say is an evil person. Well, where you think that you are never having been in love with someone, you should sell that thing, probably drop that, fuck off a dock or something. Keep deep water, don't get back up. Fall in the water, don't get back up. There's a, uh, a cat here that's a mumbo all day. It's not a cat. It's not a rodent either. But it's not like a wolf. It's a, a noxious creature. You know? I have to tell you that mice are wolves and there's fucking rats that aren't animals. But like the rodents aren't animals, they're vermin. Vermin, not wolves. All fucked up, you know? You guys have superhero movies where fucking they don't want martial arts, they don't want kung fu, they don't want karate, they don't want shit. You say that bats are flying rodents constantly. You don't know what bull is. You haven't had Batman where there is fair enough. You haven't had a Batman guy who plays Batman who knows what horse is. In the slightest fucking regard. No one you have in fucking superhero movies is cool. In fact, they're monsters. You think I don't have to fucking start simple and make cool things for kids? There's a lot of fucking martial arts superhero movies that we can become with. That would be really fucking fun to make. Who could I be playing? Well, man or Superman? He's got to be big and strong and huge and buff to have to fill me a muscle. It's not the story, but I mean, my story makes more sense. I wrote Superman. <coughs> that says more than writing Batman. I thought maybe who you are. Fuck on. Right? I'm writing a Batman novel also, but they're like author of Superman. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It, what was it? What ship? What was sup What did Superman do? Right? He fucking writes things though, doesn't he? <coughs> That's like what I was doing. But you didn't know about Superman the entire time. <coughs> fucked up, you know? I think it's really fucked up.
I'm a morph when I'm like 400 years old, as far as I know. But like all my memories of who I think my biological father is and who I think my mother is, who I think I know I am, if I had memories of the real, even before I was a little bit baby toddler again, that's just what I actually think about my life. I know that I was a small toddler when I got up. Yeah, we're not talking about that. <coughs> but like, why did you think that I would have to say, like you said, you saw someone else? We'll fucking grow up. I don't know. Get real. Stop being evil. I know a lot about the world of life, so what happens with love is it makes sense to actually listen to what I have to say, duh. Every day in my life I'll be a trip like yours and never going out of here. I don't know how to say that my family's going to me. I've never heard it from them. I just have dreams about them and I really did that. <coughs> I can believe in havoc. I know that havoc is the main reason my life hurts is fucking more hell is than this. It hurts so fucking bad. That's so fucking bad. The havoc has made my life like this, so why would I think that I can't bring havoc back in my enemies? Havoc is real, I'm sure. <coughs> I, know, I know much a lot. Yeah, fuck the terminology of fucking fake medicine. Things like some depression. Are you talking about agony? What do you mean depression? Depression. You're pressed down? A tongue depressor presses your tongue down. De you're depressed? Yeah. Okay. Low libido? That can happen. Not to me, but, you know. What? God, are you serious? No, I don't suffer from low libido. I don't, but well, I don't suffer from what we call depression. It's always fucking agonized, you know that I'm in all of the pain now. So, <coughs> I don't know where people come from in general, because you're trying to say that you can hurt someone where they come from. So I don't know what you think you said, because I'm all protected people I love. I love those dreams about my sister, I think she's a lame person, but you don't know who that is. What am I supposed to remember about me if you say you are? <coughs> you can read a lot about my life on my website, it's not going to tell you I've been writing stories in for a long time to try to get famous so that I can get back home. And I started by writing um, a story that Jason stole. But like, I was psychic and smart enough to stop my booking time to keep them from fucking overlapping with my story. So I just simply have a copyright to Ray and the entire premise for The First Awakening. Copyright that I published before. Do they, they, they couldn't have fucking have a story with mine. Did you know Liam this is my stepfather? And he can't get me back. They can't find me. I don't know what to do, because I don't think it's safe at home, and like a, a super extreme circumstance, it might be. I think the person is not loud, I feel like evil person, I'm stupid, but I don't like having to say it like that. <coughs> I didn't know who he was as my stepfather, because I didn't have those memories before I changed. When I was, when you think about different places, memories come back to you. You know, I think about what those people are like, and you can think about what has actually happened, which is that you've met that man before. I thought that, I, I saw him in Star Wars, playing Cold War Jin, and I thought that he could teach me peace, and I'm in a horrible, horrible, horrible pain. In the July, I can see sort of fight in there. They used to call of um, kids that they could kidnap and torture. Bring about agony to have slaves that were in the fight with fucking feral screaming animals, 
shit. But like, I want more peace. I don't know how to have peace, and I asked him to be, to teach me that he would give me an independence. But that's really why I got there, because my, step, my father by step is supposed to know that he's a master anyway. Isn't that cool? Everybody knows? Strong story, you know, I wrote a bunch of Star Wars to match up with that. But I don't know who you think you say you know you are. I was writing a lot of books of things, but I'm, I'm, I'm a magic child, so I know a lot about the magic of life. And I don't know about who you think you say you come from. Because then, exactly who? You said where. You said where, like there's a word that you need to say that you're a different person. If you thought you came from Mexico and you're a good person, I thought you come from Mexico. You're in fact, you don't. Mexico? Mex mixing coke? It's culture, man. No, Mexico means something evil. The word means something evil. When you say, I'm sorry, did you say Ecuador? And what are you talking about? <coughs> <coughs> did you say San Diego? Diego protects you? Or Zorro? Do you know the name of the ship that Zorro? It's Diego. <coughs> um, the fox he flies. Like a bat? That's the name for, for Zorro, the fox he flies. The fox is he's clever and smart and genius. Well, did, did you know people are stopping barely even because they give me a nickname that's from my house, which is the smallest in my life? Why do they say the smallest in my life? Because I'm a little kid and it's bad. But yeah, it's pretty smart. <coughs> <coughs> well, this is the thing. I don't know where you think you come from, but you made sense to be saying to me that we can't have fucking romances in our lives that have nothing to do with the job and all that. For our fucking fields and fields and fields of hell world. I was talking a little bit like people were listening to me. I pulled the trigger on World War Three, but that's kind of. But like, what? Do you still argue with me? Some of the people who watch it do. Do you know that it's either going on or it isn't? And if it is, which it is, it's really, really cyclical for me to do what you said just now. <coughs> well, do you have hurricane maps that look like fucking war maps? There are new kinds of hurricane maps with the fucking funnel to cover up and say, don't go near this place with the fucking military invaded. The evidence in the press is, is that the fucking um, American media fucking nightmare terrorists and British media try to invade Tibet and kill and replace the Dalai Lama. King Drupa, the person, the man, a friend, the fucking most well regarded humanitarian on the planet. Tempting death, though. They want to, be, to murder him. How, what's the evidence? <clears throat> in the story of the Dalai Lama? We come to the diplomats and kill fish. The East Coast were either, and they've said it was the same man returning, either restoring his youth or being reborn in uh, Sun's Wind or something. And that toy test you showed in the Avatar cartoon, that was the people who was popular because of money because they knew the Dalai Lama. Which is true, that the little kid makes the police of the last little kid, Prodigy, the first one. And it's happened every time that he knows too many things. And uh, <clears throat> the monks around, these old friends, they, they're fucking with their friend. They're right, like he's there. He's very wise and super smart and way too cool. Wizard, all hours of the day. So, like, they were saying that there was going to be a replacement. They were going to, their pressure was on in the era close to his death. Like a completely retarded, and they know nothing of what we are. He's getting old suppressors and a pick a replacement, which means that's going to kill him. Because you don't have a new Dalai Lama until some years after he's gone. And the, uh, and that child is brought forward by his closest friends, by none others. <coughs> that's their own fucking culture. But that's what that, that looks like. Which is that I had a lot of influence in saying what I was saying. 
And um, when that happened, that triggered the war, it's true. And I was saying that for a while before I told you what was going on. Which is that you have to be a superpower to, to kind of pull the trigger to make sure that everybody knows we're in World War Three. But there's wars and wars and wars and wars going on before that. Romeo and Juliet 14 was about um, anarchy, global, and destroying all fucking government bodies because they enslaved the children. It destroyed the Russian mafia, which is the entire Russian government very similar. So I'm king of Russia, that's true. But that's because I'm a lion king. Amber is about to fucking do the word. I have never seen it. I've never met them. I'm the color of the so that I can pick and choose who is king of something similar, and I said that I was king of Russia. But I'm also king of Africa. No, this is Africa. There should be places in Africa. They didn't use your maps to start. What the fuck would you get that for? Be anywhere? Really? Colonies are minuscule compared to what the country in America is. The, the, the villages, the, the roads you have connecting up, there's a lot more wild terrain than that. <coughs> no. You said the reservations like places you could even still access by roads? Well, that's not, a, that's not a name for gift plot, but is that what you teach in schools? That there are gift plots called reservations? Something sound stupid to think you're, you're getting told the truth, or fucking schools are percent from fucking non education. The non for education or Puritan lives. But this is supposed to be the end of the Puritan. We see the World Wide Web, World War Three, WWLII, WWLII. People are in agony, so fucking crazy, evil, evil shit that we're seeing. You can get on the nightly news, of course there's World War. Because it doesn't make sense to use Roman numerals. We have better tools than that to help. Because it was confusing at exactly three. You have a LII. I still gonna want to shoot and produce and make a movie that's 12 hours long with Star Wars Episode 8. I wrote the fucking premise and then they replaced the actress. I know hot and fucking ugly as fuck is the difference, but I didn't never watch the next movie. The fuck I saw there was the trailer for Star Wars. There's a trailer, and there's a fucking ugly, ugly witch in her place, and they were using her name. Well, that's Disney, they're mafia, they're fucking CIA. Yeah. I don't sell any of my stories, I don't sell any of my books, this movie's a free movie. It should be at hanukkahmikhailov.com slash Megami Tensei 2, the number 2. This is my first one, I just said, it's called um, The Kidnapping. But uh, that's what does happen, my, my life is over every day here. I have nothing to do but fucking try and write stories and not to shoot movies because I got a kid before this one. That was really good. Because I can talk, you see how my imagination is working, my mind. Working for just being able to express myself constantly. <coughs> I don't know who you think you have to be. Do you trust yourself? Do you know who you think you say you are? I don't know what you wanted to be. I can know that what you wanted to say, you were going to be strong enough. You're going to have to know about what you think you do. I don't have to know about what people want to have to say about their own lives for them to make a, a difference in their own existence. But I have to believe in the world I can choose. And I don't have to know what you think is going on. It's for now it's heavy. And, and then helping a lot of people by, by writing how to protect yourself and build love better in the world. I know that 
what you guys had for romance with boys was, was, was disastrous because it doesn't make any sense that, that you hurt them so bad. Why would you ignore the power of women where they are as a man? You want to say equality? Okay, you're not going to see the difference in any one person. You know, <clears throat> trying to say that you can talk to people who love to protect their life and save their life. You don't care for a child. Yeah, you don't have one in your whole life. I wish I could change the world overnight, because I want to go home so bad I can't breathe. The walls try to hook more in the day. They're bumming trapped in a place like this is a cage. I don't know what to do, I just want to go home. I want to see you for me. I want to have a life with love and friends. <coughs> All I just want to go is a horrible pain. I don't know what to go. I don't know what to do. I just have to be. I believe Christian is better than living life. Until the things are part of our are keeping any of them from not having that. I don't know where I can be to say I won't be real. But if you think of who you are, you should know what's real. I can't have the answer still. For what you've done to me, but I can say the story still of what you are to me, no matter who you think you say you are and why I'd have to know. I story out my own life still and wonder where you go. I can't do what you think of me, and I don't know what you've done. Go to homecomingkillup.com slash Star Wars. There's the original copyright to the Force of the movie. The entire premise is a story that called Clan Skywalker and it's nicknamed um, the girl of the light saber in the morning of Falcon. It's left as it is. I have never read that. It's totally it was way before the book of the came out before. Yeah. You publish or you don't have the story. Because it takes fucking, you know, 12 hours to shoot a movie. Well, but it's true, even though I'm making a full bar movie, you have to move them over to move cameras around. I don't know what you said to me. I don't know what you are. 